Hi, it's December 28th, 2011. I'm Peter Martinson, and this is your weather report. As we wrap up 2011, we find ourselves in the quiet before the storm, both politically and geomagnetically. Now, if you recall the past several weather reports, the past couple of weeks have been very anomalous on the sun. On the one hand, there have been a lot of coronal mass ejections. Almost every day there are coronal mass ejections. While at the same time, X-ray output from the sun has been uh, extremely low. There have been almost no real uh, solar flares over the past couple of weeks, even though there have been a lot of sunspots on the sun. In fact, we might be at sunspot maximum, even though X-ray output is very low. Over the past couple of days, though, things have begun to pick up. On Christmas Eve, a formerly quiet sunspot in the southern hemisphere of the sun began shooting out M-class X-ray flares, while a sunspot group in the northern hemisphere just rotating out of sight left us with a long flare which hit us with a proton radiation storm. Then, two filamentary eruptions occurred in the northern hemisphere, both of which unleashed coronal mass ejections that now appear to be headed directly towards the Earth. These two are the first potential head-on collision threats we've faced all year. Remember, the last major impact of a coronal mass ejection was at the end of October, which hit and caused a very sharp geomagnetic storm several days before the now infamous Halloween nor'easter snowstorm. Now, does this mean that we're set for yet one more so-called billion-dollar disaster before we even exit 2011? It's not totally clear. What you see here is a forecast track by the Goddard Space Weather Laboratory at NASA where what's portrayed is the coronal mass ejection leaving the sun and headed straight for the Earth, this little yellow dot. Indeed, it's headed straight for us, but it may pass a little bit high and possibly only graze the northern hemisphere of our magnetic field. So it may or may not generate a large geomagnetic storm. But it's important to be aware that as this uh, coronal mass ejection is headed towards the Earth, right now a very large unstable storm system is forming inside the Gulf of Alaska. Now, what coronal mass ejections and the subsequent geomagnetic storms tend to do is not just, not only send the northern lights down into the lower latitudes so we can see them down in Michigan and Arkansas, but they also tend to intensify low pressure systems in the Gulf of Alaska to create large storms that then get sent down into the lower 48 states. So, as we exit 2011, we may indeed be inside of the calm before the storm. Thank you. I'll see you next year.